Hey guys, welcome to Bank Fish. Welcome to the studio. Well, guys, today I went and got me some reels at a pawn shop a couple days ago. And guess what? I got me some Zepco 33 and a Zepco 202. Now I got them apart. I'm going to teach you how to clean these things. These things are dirty. Dirty, dirty. I got this a pawn shop for both of them. They came with rods. Uh, these two rods right here. They came with these rods right here. I got them for 10 bucks a piece. Pretty good deal, right? They're both uh, two-piece rods. like that. Two piece rods. Came with the reels. 20 bucks. At a pawn shop. That's pretty cool, right? So, I'm going to set these to the side. Two piece rods are always good to have if you got like a small car. If you don't have a truck, get you a two piece rod. That way you can break them down, put them in your trunk, put them in the back seat. So, alright, so, I'm going to grab me some cleaner. This is some uh, Bessie bathroom cleaner. You know, any kind of cleaner is great. So, spray it in here. Spray the outside. Spray the covers. Spray this one. Spray the cover. Well, these things dirty, dirty, dirty. And don't tell them when the last time these been used. Dirty. All right. We got our cleaner. All right. Let's grab our towel and start wiping it down. The thing about it, my fishing stuff is always clean, all the time. All nice and shiny. That grime, the dirt grime. Put some clear net inside there. Clean all that up. Any kind of cleaner is real good to use. Get all that nice and clean. Wipe this down real good. I know tell how long he's been sitting in the pawn shop. But if you want fishing stuff, if you go to a pawn shop, man, take a look, see what they got. You can find some good deals like, like I did. And uh, wipe it down real good. Get that grime off of there. Man, that inside is dirty as can be. The bait clicker is on. Turn that off. No way I can listen to it. This. All right. Yeah. Let's get some tube grease. If you lost, if you watched my last videos about to take care of your reel. Tube grease, those gears right there. There's not a speck of grease in these things, man. Not a single speck. Grease that baby up. Real good. I mean, I'm greasing it. Very important when you get used stuff, clean it out real good, put some grease on them. Oh, that's nice and smooth now. It's amazing what you can use for grease. Let's add a little more. Wipe 
it down real good. This way that your reel will last longer and it'll make it look brand new like you got it off the shelf in the package. Like, yeah. Alright, so I got that all nice and clean. Wipe down. Put that baby back on. That sucker back on. These Zepco reels, take care of them. Man, they do awesome job. They're great reels. Great reels. Have a little trouble lining this thing up for some reason. Boom. Twist. Alright. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's like a brand new reel now. Not bad for $10. Not bad at all for $10. Bucks. Not bad at all. Now, I got some, uh, this is supposed to be for line, but you can also use it for Making it shiny. This stuff is about. I had it for a long time. But put some new stuff on there. Clean it up. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. It sounds good. No noise. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we got that one down. Zepco 202 reel. They got newer models out there. They still make them. It's a different model. Man. This is like an old model. This is like, I don't know, probably in the 80s. 80s, 90s model. You can't really find these old reels anymore. Unless you go to a pawn shop. Can't find them at Walmart. You gotta go to pawn shop, flea markets, stuff like that. Garage sales. There. Clean that inside. You can clean the, the handle. The handle's dirty. the main thing right here. Clean all that out real good. Man, there's a bunch of dust, dirt, grime. This thing has been used a bit. But simple tips like this, it'll be like a brand new rip. So, clean this little thing right here that goes on the handle the little nut goes on the handle alright so this is an old old D timer here so put that there put that there and I'll put this on top put that baby on there boom oh wait a minute Got one thing. I forgot to put some grease on it, didn't I? Let's take that baby out. I'm not sure. I... Man, there's not a speck of grease on that thing. So we're gonna put some grease right there on those gears. Grease it up. I almost forgot to grease it up. <laughs> Guess I was in a hurry to put it back together.
anytime you get some used reels like that, man, you, the more grease, the better. I mean, you just pile that stuff on there. Yeah. All that grease. All right. Let's see if I put my hand on there and give it a couple of turns. Gears nice and lubricated, greased up. That is wonderful. This sucker gonna be ready to catch a bass. on that to just a little dab a little dab of grease because this thing is old sucker is old I'm gonna tell you alright give it a spin yeah it's working it's working Old timer, still got some life to it. Put that on there. Alright. Let's spray some of this stuff on there. Give it a shine to it. Alright. Give it a shine. Really nice. Give it a shine to it. All right, guys. So I got these reels at the pawn shop. Ten dollars a piece. These old reels. Look at that. Cleaned them up. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. Woohoo! So, and look, this $5 tube grease still me some wonders. I still got plenty of grease in this baby. So, let me dip back in here. Put that in there. So, now, these babies are ready to go fishing. They got some line on there. I might have to put some new line on them, but I'm going to test this line out first before I do that. But, it's still got a little bit of noise, but I might have to grease it a few times. But, hey, look at that. Look at those babies. Just like that. When you get some used stuff, take them apart. Grease them up, clean them up, make them nice and shiny, put them back together. They're ready to go. Now they're ready for a rod. And they're ready to go fishing. So, so that's today's tip. When you go get used stuff, that's how you clean them. You take them apart, grease them up, clean them. Like I said, I just used to me some scrub-free total bathroom cleaner, okay? This is like a dollar at Walmart. And this whole thing, you know how many reels I can grease and clean with this? I got a whole bunch of them. So. Ain't no, just use any kind of cleaner. It don't matter. Get you some cheap old cleaner just like that. There you go. That's how you do it. So That's the day of bank fishing. I want to tell you about my $10 reels. At the pawn shop. So, oh yeah! If you notice the background over here, 
I added me some more fish. I've got me some snails to help clean the tank. I've got me, oh, I got went to the creek, got me some river rocks. Nice flat rocks, maybe a nice little bridge. So they got a little cover. That's the thing. Fish love cover. It don't matter what kind of fish it is, they love cover. So I put some cover and I put some more little fake plants in there. I got me some uh some quarry catfish, some guppies, and uh I've got me some uh I got me a some more betas. Got me a pure white beta. He's back there behind this plant. Pure white beta. Nice and pretty. Kind of like that guppy right there. Pure white. And uh, there's a red beta right there. The female betas, they can always be together. And look at them. They're all doing good. I cleaned this tank out. I cleaned the bottom out. Add that to it. Add the fake plants to it. Add some new water to it. Clean my filter. Rinse it in hot water. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. Look at that big old sucker. Man, I've had that for three years now. Sucker like big now. Do, 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 do. So, tell me what you think about the my, my $20 reels. $10 a piece, baby. Look at that. They're ready to go. Cleaned up. And that's how you clean your reels. So, well, if you saw my last video, I went fishing to a creek, I didn't catch nothing, I got tangled up again, snapped my line, uh, still trying to get that first bite, I haven't got a bite, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to use live worms, I'm going to give me a box of live worms, and I'm going to cut a little piece, put it on my hook, throw it out there, and maybe I can get a bite. Artificial stuff right now is not working. Usually they do work, and I'm just not getting anything. So I'm just getting skunked. I'm getting bad luck. I don't know if it's the weather, the temperature, or what, but it is just man. I ain't getting a bite. So well, guys, thank you for joining. Push the subscribe button. Push that notification button. Send me an email. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about these reels. Uh, they're ready to go. I mean, I can catch me some big old bass like these. So, yeah. Now I just got to find me some good poles. Oh, I got oh, I got a pole. Got me a new pole for that one. Got me a new pole for that one. Matter of fact, I got this at Academy. It's an Angler Series One Piece Rod. So, this rod is probably not going to do very well in the car. Maybe it might fit in the back seat. Maybe like, you know, diagonal. But, I'm going to put this Zipco 33 on there. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. That sucker's ready to put some... Ready to go. All I gotta do is uh get the line out, put me a nice little jig on there. Put me one of these jigs on there. Yeah, it's ready to go. It's got a little scuffs on it, little scratches on it, but that's all right. She ready to go. Go ready to catch a big old bass. Catch some panfish or something. So she's ready to go. And I guess we can use this other rod to this other rod, this two piece rod right here. And Jeez. 
ready to go too. Look at that. That old sucker's nice and shiny. She's ready to catch something. So, there you go. I got two rods. Are ready to go. Like, I need even more rods, but. Old classic rods are nice to have. Good old reels. Put them on some nice rods. Ready to go, baby. We're ready to go fishing. So. Of course, you see, I've got enough fishing poles, and what's sad is I still got plenty of fishing poles inside. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's a fisherman. You no, know, you can't. You can't have enough fishing poles. You gotta have a fishing pole for every single lure, every type of lure, every technique you can think of. Well, guys, thank you for joining this, uh, today's subject about cleaning your reels, especially some old reels uh, you got at the pawn shop. And tell me what you think about this video. And hope that you go out there, get you some fine, some old reels, clean them up, and go out there, catch you a fish. Right now, I ain't catching nothing right now. I don't know what the deal is. I usually am catching something, but it is winter time. It is cold. And. That water's cold and it's hard to fish. I mean, I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Wintertime is the tough time to go fishing. That's why you have a lot of guys that are fishermen as they go out hunting because when you go out fishing, it's really cold and you got the wind and you got the, uh, the water, cold. Yeah. A lot of people just like to go hunt. But I like to go fish. So. But, you know, that's just me. So. Alright, guys. Well, and always remember, have fun fishing. Thanks. We'll see you next time.